Good morning, neighbors and friends. We have gathered together on this brisk morning in our neighborhood to come and say that we are supporting a Walmart free NYC. Why we are, we are not in support of Walmart company? But well, first of all, for all the jobs they create, and they talk about creating hundreds of thousands, they are not living wage jobs, they're low entry jobs, and the people who get those jobs are not from our communities. They don't have adequate health benefits or other French benefits for their employees, and nor does executive management look like us. Someone has said that the devil is in the detail. And so we began to look at the $400 million corporately that Walmart makes, according to his own annual reports, and the health benefits and the wages, the low wages, that they're giving to its employees, you know that they are not a good corporate neighbor. And just as we fought against gentrification in our community around housing, we also have to remain, remain vigilant and fight for the retail gentrification, to ensure that we don't have commercial gentrification. My, many people don't know that Walmart, in addition to all of its big box stores, also owns Dwayne Reed. And some people will not forget that we used to have a lot of mom and pop stores here. This, this, this lot that they wanted to build on used to house record shops, Bobby's Records, uh, Georgie's Pastries, all have been displaced with the, with the promise of economic viability jobs that have yet to come. If you look at some of our great leaders, and when today we're on the corner of 126th Street and Malcolm X Boulevard, it was Frederick Douglass who said if there's no struggle, without struggle there can be no progress. It was Adam Clayton Powell told us to keep the faith, baby. And Malcolm X said, by any means necessary. So we're gathered today as a coalition of small business owners, clergymen, representing our constituencies, elected officials, and neighbors, to say that Walmart is no good for our neighborhood. Walmart is no good for our neighborhood. Walmart is no good for our neighborhood. Because for every two jobs that come in, they're going to destroy the fiber, they're going to destroy jobs, and they're going to leave our people unemployed. Those stakeholders, those community businesses, many of whom are represented here today, would they stay during the, the bad times. They stay during the crack epidemic. They stay, stay during the absentee landlords. And now as Harlem begins to go through a renaissance, a rebuilding, now we have these corporate, greedy uh, conglomerates coming in, trying to take back our neighborhoods. And we say, no way. They're trying to sell us a bill of goods. We can't trust what they say. They would not even meet with our community. They refuse to build or issue a community benefits agreement. And so we want everyone to know that we're here to stay. And we're here for the long haul. So Walmart is no good. Walmart is no good for our neighborhood. Walmart is no good for our neighborhood. God bless you and thank you for coming today. Can I get, can I get your name and title, please? Your name and affiliation. I'm Reverend Reginald Williams. I'm pastor of the Charity Baptist Church of Christ. I'm Councilmember Idanis Rodriguez, representing Washington Heights. But when the political leadership look at this area, we look at Northern Manhattan. So when we are together, it's a, Annette Dickens, Robert Jackson, and I, and this is not only about the North Manhattan, this is about the whole New York City. No big corporation should come to the city if it can do the agenda to destroy a small business. It is our responsibility to support small businesses, especially in a, in a moment of crisis, in a moment where we are not doing so good financially. We cannot put our supermarket or the store to be in jeopardy, to be destroyed, because Walmart that has not have a, a good policy 
especially re respecting our work, especially male and the people of color. Therefore, we should send a message allowing clear to Walmart. You are not welcome in New York City because your agenda is to destroy a small business. Thank you all. Now, Walmart. Good morning, everyone. Uh, obviously, thanks to everyone for showing up. I was born 10 blocks away from here, Harlem Hospital. Played uh, community, sandlot, sports, single parent of an eight-year-old daughter. Uh, obviously, Walmart doesn't have the best interest of the small business owner in mind. We run a small business up on Creative. We do grassroots marketing for smaller businesses. And the message, obviously, is we have to pool our resources as we simultaneously speak against Walmart's transition to New York. And that's pretty much my message. Support small businesses. Small businesses pool your resources to show that we're united. And obviously they'll take the message that we're trying to send a little bit more serious. But it starts with us supporting each other, opposed to running into a larger store. Some of the smaller vendors sell some of the things we go into some of the larger stores to buy. So we want to get in the habit of supporting each other and pulling out resources. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jose McKissick. I uh, had a big graduated a lot out here. I was looking at you at least about, I said, at least about 30 years. And uh, now I have five business here in office. And now I'm down to one. I'm here on behalf of uh, Sean Nuff, Bob and Buse. Uh, we don't need a Walmart here. We don't need no big business in there. We need to wake up and try to hold our business and try to stand up our own, our own and try to do something for ourselves. But we can't do it if they come and knock us out. So we need help, but not that way. <laughs> Those jobs are not going to good for us, as we all see. We need jobs that we can create and help our people in our way. Can't do it that way. So I want everybody to keep their number eight and we'll try to work it out. So, Walmart's no good. 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 Thank you, everybody. My name is Brad Gerstman. I'm a spokesperson for the New York Neighborhood Alliance. That's a group an association of small and medium-sized businesses throughout the entire city. And, and we oppose Walmart coming into this city in any way, shape, or form. Yes. Yes. Understand this, Walmart is not just one big box store that can occupy this area. It could be hundreds, by their own words, hundreds of stores that take over this city and destroy the integrity of all our neighborhoods, wherever we live. There will be small supermarkets, there'll be small miniature Walmarts that sell all kinds of goods. There'll be large superstores that will be everywhere in this city. And this city will turn from what it originally was intended to be, a unique place to live and to work and to visit and it will turn into a mecca shopping mall and destroy all the existing small businesses that are out there today struggling to make a buck. By every single study that you see, that you read, that we have, that we've provided, you will find that Walmart would come into an area, take on a whole bunch of cheap labor, and then destroy all the stores around them, thereby having all that labor laid off and those businesses shut down. And instead of having a vibrant area with shops opening, we'll just have one giant store right here. Be reminded that all the supermarkets, every supermarket in New York City will inevitably be shut down and we'll have Walmart supermarkets. And think about it, one choice, the food all coming from the same place, far away from here, no local purchasing, no local purchasing of any product whatsoever. This is not good for our economy. 
If Walmart is an economic policy of this city to grow jobs, then we are in more trouble than we ever thought possible. So I ask everybody to join together not just here, everywhere in the city, everywhere Walmart wants to open up, everywhere that they seek to grow their business on the backs of the people in New York City, that we must protest, we must send the message, we must reach out to elected officials, and we have to say no, absolutely no, to New York City for Walmart. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. I'm State Senator Bill Perkins, and um, I represent this neighborhood. Walmart does not create jobs. Walmart destroys jobs. Repeat after me. Walmart does not create jobs. Walmart destroys jobs. Walmart is not good for good business. Not good for business. It's bad for small business. Walmart is not good for business, it's bad for small business. You know, Walmart does not pay a living wage. It pays slave wages. Walmart does not pay a living wage. It pays slave wages. We have tried in this city, from the time when I was in the city council, to get a living wage bill so that stores like Walmart would be able to provide the workers in these communities with the kind of wage that would enable them to live in these communities. Walnut does not pay a living wage. This is a community of small entrepreneurs. Look around you. And every one of these small entrepreneurs is providing employment opportunities for the people that live in this community. This will go all go away. We are about supporting our small entrepreneurs, building the employment opportunities for the people in this community, especially for our young people who have a crisis level of unemployment, a depression level of unemployment. And so we're here, I'm here on behalf of this community to say that we don't want Walmart on this corner. We don't want Walmart on any corner in this city, but especially in this district. We want to support our small entrepreneurs that have been the lifeblood and the character of this neighborhood. Walmart does not fit in with the character of this neighborhood. This is a neighborhood of small entrepreneurs, people who have been striving. In fact, we have a part of this community called Strivers Row. And these small businesses are part of the largest Strivers Row that provide the kind of flavor, the kind of employment opportunities that are important to sustain and to keep this community being the Harlem that we all know and that we all love. So I just want to make sure that my voice is loud and clear in support of the workers, in support of the unions, in support of the small entrepreneurs, in support of, the, of this community to make sure that Walmart does not come here. And in fact, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see a need for Walmart anywhere, especially in these five boroughs. Thank you, Senator.